Utah, guys. In just under three days is the ride to conquer cancer. Woo! It's um, Wednesday right now, and I'm just making one more big ride up north um, before the ride. I have to rest my legs for a few days. I'm going to try and break triple digits today. I'm actually going up north to pick up my sleeping bag from a friend. The weather today has been wet, um, but I think the rain's holding up right now, so I might be able to get rid of this sexy, chic poncho. And it's funny, because I was going to wear my safety vest today, but you really can't miss all of this sexiness. Yeah, I was actually hit on at an intersection, so maybe there is something in hunchback chic ponchos. Might be a fad. Alright, I'll see you guys later. So, I had to stop over in Walmart because my backpack is too small for this tent. So, I just spent the last 20 minutes trying to wrestle a sleeping bag into all of their backpacks and I found one that fits. Alright, back on the road I go. Here we are yet again at Tim Hortons. No bacon this time. Um, my stomach's a little off today, but uh, the weather's kind of weird right now. It, it looks foggy. It's kind of like it's misting rain, like, but it's not coming down. So I really don't want to wear that poncho because a poncho's supposed to keep you dry, but that principle is pretty backwards when you're bike riding because although you're dry from the rain, it traps in every bit of moisture that you're sweating out. So it really makes no difference. But I will wear the poncho if I have to to keep the backpack and my friend's sleeping bag dry. Alright, see you guys later. Hey, I'm just uh, about to leave Aurora going back home and I want to show you the intense fog. Normally, I'd be able to see the CN Tower right about now and I can't even really see the intersection in front of me. Coming uh, this way, going northbound, I was able to see my breath earlier. That's kind of weird weather. <laughs> Nine kilometers. Holy frick. <laughs> I am absolutely drenched. Except for my backpack with the sleeping bag in it, my, uh, my sexy hunchback. But um, yeah, I'm waiting in my lobby for Jamie right now because she has to come over and print something. But I will show you guys in a minute just how drenched I am. Woo! Uh, anyway, so yeah, in here, and uh, my shoes are squished. I'm going to have to bring two pairs of shoes when. Uh, when we <laughs> when we go to the ride, I'm gonna show you the weird wet one. Like look at my arms. I hope the sleeping bag is like Should be. My bum felt wet. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> well, there you have it, folks. Two more days, and we'll be biking to Niagara Falls, and there's forecasted thunder and lightning storms. All right, doesn't matter that it's 11.30 at night. It's uh, time to eat like Michael Phelps. And that's not, no, that's, that's not a mark. Mm -mm. That's warrior paint. Mm -hmm. All right, and this concludes all the practice rides for the Ride to Conquer Cancer. We do have some unfortunate news. Um, Jamie regretfully wants to inform you guys that she will be unable to partake in the ride this weekend, but she wants to sincerely thank all of you for your encouragement, your words of wisdom, your donations, all that money is still going towards the great cause to kick cancer in the ass. So um, from both of us, thank you very much. And hopefully the next time you see me, I will be on my way to Niagara Falls, rain or shine, thunder or lightning, in yellow jersey or a freaking yellow poncho. Whew. All right, I will see you guys later.